what's it say? So we're inside the camper. Outside temperature, 29. Feels like, like 24. Yeah. Feels like it's below and, freezing. Yeah, and it was snowing outside when I come in. Just spitting snow. It was snowing pretty hard earlier, but it's just barely snowing it's out there now. So it's cold, isn't it? Yep. So, but we're nice and warm in the camper. Feels like we're in the Arctic. Yeah. Well, good morning. So as you can see, uh, we're out and we're camping. Um, you can see the wintry mix behind me. So uh, we left Indiana yesterday and we are headed to Vermont to do a portion of the Northeast BDR. Uh, we got our friends, uh, Cotty Wampel Overland with, with us and we are very excited about that. Always enjoy trailing and camping with them. And uh, you can see we have the Gladiator with our new summit on. So we're gonna show you um, how this thing works uh, at camp. Uh, we've really enjoyed it already the last few nights that we've spent in it. And uh, we're gonna continue to uh, to trail. We're gonna be out for about six days and uh, camp along the way. So come along with us as we explore the Northeast BDR. Northeast BDR crosses more state lines covering more miles than any other BDR, making the Northeast BDR one of the most diverse routes in the BDR series. Every Northeast state delivers a unique adventure experience. While sections can be done over an extended weekend, those who commit to the entire 1300 mile route will truly feel as though they had an adventure of a lifetime. Okay, so we, uh, it's, oh, looks like it's 4.30 in the afternoon. 
we have been traveling most of the day um, since we left camp in New York. We are in Bridgewater, Vermont, and we uh, just got on um, just south of Bridgewater and uh, started south on the uh, Northeast BDR. So this is where Bill and Deb left off last year, um, and so they we're coming back here to start, and we're on the trail. So we're gonna trail for a little while, see if we can find some camp a little later before it gets dark. But uh, we're on it, we're ready. We're tired of pavement driving, and we're excited to be on some dirt finally. After spending a fair amount of time driving, it was starting to get dark. We wanted to look for camp just as soon as we could, but we were having way too much fun out on this trail. We finally found camp later on in the evening at the White Rocks National Recreation Area. There was a river running through camp, you could hear it in the dark, and we couldn't wait to explore it in the morning. Well, good morning, all of my faithful followers. <laughs> 
we uh, we made it to Vermont and uh, we began uh, to head south from uh, Bridgewater. And uh, yesterday, last night, we found a really great little camping spot. Everybody's here. And um, you can hear in the background, uh, it's a little waterfall down there in a creek. It's, it's beautiful here. Um, totally blown away by how beautiful it is here. I should know better. Um, <laughs> every state's got its own own beauty, but uh, Vermont is kicking our butt on that. So uh, anyhow, we uh, camped last night, had just a quick sandwich. Uh, it was cold, got down to about 27 degrees, 26 degrees last night. I don't know how cold it got overnight, but uh, stayed nice and warm inside the trailer. Um, Mission Overland continues to amaze us. So got up this morning, kicked on the uh, Chuma, got a little hot water, doing kind of this nice quick wash up in the trailer this morning. Um, because showers, I don't think that's going to happen today. Um, anyhow, we are uh, back on the trail a little later. We're going to have a little breakfast. Aspen's over there. You can hear him. He wants to be part of the video. And uh, we're going to get back out on the trail and then do some more exploring today. We're really excited. So come along with us. I mean, I think you could live on bacon in the morning, cold bacon as snacks in the afternoon, and then bacon sandwiches for dinner. Oh, that, absolutely. A little tomato on there. Yeah. Yeah. Make you a little slice yeah. of bread. Even Aspen approves. Look at him. Yeah, Aspen's. He's all he's, about that. He's about ready to get in trouble. So he's about he ready says, to get says, just give me some right now, and I'm taking some of that. Damn. <laughs> Deb says we're having bacon nuggets. Yeah, because look how small they Look how tiny they got. Let's just cut it in half. That's a new product. Yeah, it's a bacon nugget. Smithfield bacon nuggets. Pancakes were way too burnt, so well, let's see what Deb's, Deb's showing me how. Bill's color? Deb's color. My pancakes are better. <laughs> yeah, but see, I like these. These don't yeah. like me in there one bit. Right? Oh, see? That That's okay. Dig in. Do dig in. I got two more <laughs> over here just right like here. <laughs> I was doing it for the camera, but I mean... You did well. I know. I know. <laughs> After all the breakfast shenanigans were over, it was time to hike around and check out our surrounding campsite. It was absolutely beautiful.
Well, we made it to camp. You can hear Aspen down there. Um, it's probably about 5 30, 6 o'clock. You can see we got a fire going yet. And uh, so, yeah, probably have a little dinner, hang out. So, good day. Fun wheeling. Beautiful, beautiful Vermont. Golly, who would have thought that it's just so beautiful here? So, we've had a really good day. Put down about seven hours of travel, uh, just between stops and driving and, and uh, filming and, and all the things we enjoy. So, what do you have, Justin? It's uh, this is like a Mexican beef, and I made it at home in the Instapot. Um, and it's got all kinds of Mexican style taco seasonings in it. Um, I actually just followed a recipe on um, on YouTube. You know, that's where everybody learns how to cook, right? And do things. So, um, so yeah, it's a, it's actually a chuck roast, um, but I uh, I seared it and then we warmed it up in the uh, or put it in the uh, instapot, like I said, at home, and added all the seasonings and everything. We just have to warm it through. We'll put it in our tortillas. Smell-o-vision. Smell-o-vision. You didn't cut your finger on the avocado? Huh? You didn't cut your finger? Nope. Your... So I got all my fingers from the avocado, so that worked out really well. You guys have to go check Cotty Wumple's uh, video out at Expo East if you want to know that story, if you don't know it already. After I warmed the beef over the open fire, we enjoyed our tacos and finished the evening sitting around the fire and laughing and joking about the day. Thanks for watching this week's episode. See you next time.